Hello, everybody. Welcome back, and here's part four of Let's Play Curvy's Adventure. When we last left off, we completed Butter Building, and now we're moving on to Grape Garden. Yeah, Grape Garden, yet there's no grape theme here. Yeah, I know. Uh, okay. Yeah, the... Yeah, well, I yeah, I still wonder why they call it Grape Garden if there's no grapes. I guess it's video game logic for you. Oh, uh, well, Mario World kind of does that as well. <laughs> Has level designs that don't match the uh, the uh, over the uh, name of the uh, stages or anything. There's food things. There's food themes, yet there's no food aesthetics. Yep. You can tell where that switch is because of the, there's, there's that one space that the block is in. And also, I think this is the first time I've ever co-commentated in a video with you before. Oh, yes. Uh, we got Zeo Lightning joining us. Um, you may rec uh, you'll may you probably recognize him from... Uh, oh, oh, wait, I can't say it yet because... Yeah, that hasn't been revealed. So let's just say I'm a new face around here. Hello, people. Yeah. And, and for you know, he'll probably be joining us for a future race. So. In the future. Yep. Only time will tell. Indeed. So you're going Perhaps for 100%, sooner than we all right? Think. Uh, uh, what is that? You're going for 100%, right? Yes. I'm surprised you're yeah. playing this version and not Kirby, uh... Kirby's um, return Nightmare in Dreamland. He doesn't own it. No, I do not. Although I remember one time Redemption's Edge was going to be doing uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, but he gave up on it. Only because of internet. Not bad. You got it. Go yeah. The big one? Now that I got the whole router issue sorted out, I can actually play it again. So. Yeah, and now I'll tell you, I'm. Well, whenever we have a weekend where I don't have a race video planned, I will be LPing all six games of the Dream Collection on this channel. You know, this footage wasn't technically taken off the Dream Collection. Three one ups. You can actually get yes. four one ups if you get both the big. Yes, I don't. Yes, I don't actually own the Dream Collection itself, but I have all six games that are featured in the Dream Collection. Yeah, Dream do you own, like, do you, do you own each of them individually? Yes. Yeah, but um, let's see, but I have uh, Kirby's Adventure on Virtual Console. It's my only copy of it now. One weird thing I did was like uh, a year before Kirby Dream uh, Collection came out, uh, I bought Kirby Dream Land 3 because I never owned the game before and I wanted to because I like it. Um, but when Kirby Dream Collection came out, I was like, oh, well, dang, now I'm not going to need this copy of uh, Kirby Dream Land 3 that I bought because I pretty much just play Kirby Dream Land 3 from Dream Collection now, so. It's a rather pointless purchase now. Uh, did you buy the cartridge or did you buy a virtual console? Virtual console. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I learned the I'd still only, take pride uh, in owning the cartridge if I own the virtual I, cartridge. The only two games uh, from the Dream Collection that aren't on the virtual console are Dreamland and Dreamland 2. Just because of GBA. GB, rather. Yep. I was honestly surprised at how short Dreamland 1 was. Yeah, well, it's the first of the series, and I think it was very early in the life cycle of the game. Yep. and the, the one game of my Boy. only L one of my only LPs that is the on my channel that was only one video long. Well, because you can beat Dream, you can beat the first Dreamland game in a, in less than an hour. I, Actually, I, less it than took me half three. Hour. Uh, I, I spent three videos, but that's be I think this was before the um the unlimited time limit. Ah, Pro, uh, when was it uploaded? Uh, like two years ago, almost, almost two years ago. Um, it was before the. I think that sounds. I think that sounds about right. Yeah, it was back when fifteen mi minutes with the time limit. Yeah, it sounds about right. Let's you know how old I've been on YouTube for. <laughs> Quick draw. Still mad they replaced this version of the game with a. Uh, Basically, a the, the uh, Samurai Kirby from um, yeah. uh, Superstar. I actually really like this because this is a, this is a very interesting take on Samurai Kirby. 
Uh, quick draw. Well, I just like Western themes. So that's why I like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which one I like better, this or Samurai Kirby. Yes. I actually like this. This this uh, Samurai Kirby works for Superstar, but I, I kind of like seeing uh, this for uh, its own thing. It's just as hard as Samurai Kirby, though. Yep, except now there's no Meta Knight. You're saving that crash, but I don't think that's going to... Is that going to light that? Yes, it will. I did not know crash could light things on fire. I didn't either until I watched this. That's interesting to note. It's not like you're ever going to use Crash for that anyway, but it's why, interesting. Why, you never tried this before? No, uh, usually when I save Crash, I use it to kill things, not to light cannons on fire. Because the well, main purpose is a screen nuke. Well, the benefit of using Crash to light it up is you don't have to race to the cannon. That is true. I'll give it that. It actually gives me an idea. But yeah, the uh, the switch is all the way over here. Rather out of the way. Yeah, a lot of times cannons can actually lead to secret switches. Uh, there's two particular way. ones that I know lead to a secret switch. That's a very bad idea because that doesn't go anywhere. Kirby music in general is really good. What's your uh, what's your favorite ability in this game? Oh, in this game, I like high jump. High jump, I think, got really buffed in uh, Kirby um, Return of Dreamland because. Oh then, yeah, high jump's pretty good in that game too. Because before then, uh, it wasn't as good, and honestly, but in this game, in this game, if you press B while you're in the high jump, you jump, you use a star attack to jump to uh, to end your high jump. And it just completely breaks, uh, Rid um, no, no, I'm about to say Ridley. Um, it completely breaks Cracko. Oh, yeah. Alright. I think over here is where you can get abilities, ball and sleep, but what you want The two is... most useless abilities in the game. Ball's good if you know how to use Actually, it. Actually, ball's really good if you know how to use it, but sleep has always been pointless. Except in Squeak Squad, where they decided to make it heal you if you got the scroll for it. Also, it does have a purpose <laughs> in one game, at least. In which game? We just said Squeak Squad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but but Squeak Squad not an RPG though. No. Yeah, no, because in RPGs, like uh, like if you decide to spend the night, uh, it heals your HP. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Sleep uh, sleep in an RPG heals everything. Well, they, it's like it's like the doctors say, rest is the best medicine. This is a pretty hard life to get. Yeah, which one? You, it's one you just gotta be fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, uh, let's uh, not think, go there. <laughs> I think Beam would be better against this boss. Uh, this I I don't remember this guy's name. I don't either. I don't, I just. But he's replaced by Fan Fan in, Soup, in uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. Yep. This guy is like uh, something turtle. I know. I know that. I just can't remember. It's been a long time. I honestly don't know which one I hate more, this or Fan Fan. Uh, Fan Fan's definitely uh, easier. Ah, because throw, one of my favorite abilities. Oh, throw is so great in this game. Yeah, it's like Kirby said, the baseball game in a way. Uh, I don't, I just, you can aim it. I didn't think he realized that when he was recording this. <laughs> ah, I can't believe it's been so long since I actually recorded this episode. <laughs> uh, what was wow, this uploaded? Oh, wow, August 22nd. At, at, wow, you, you uploaded this on my birthday. Yeah. Oh, get that, uh, Bugsy. Why did you do that? I remember. <laughs> I remember when I let's played this game a long time back. Bugsy 
gave me a lot of trouble. I LP'd this game in both normal and hard mode on my channel. Hard mode is not really that much different. It just removes three health bars. It's not like in... Yeah. Oh, yeah, but oh, yeah. another... Meta Knight is... helps you in this game for some reason. You actually can't save unless you're playing this on Virtual Console or an emulator. Hmm. Yeah, but you really don't have a reason to play the hard mode in this version anyway. If you're playing the uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, then yeah, you sort of have a reason because you can play Meta Knight mode. After you beat it. There's yeah. also a there's also a reason to play it in Kirby Dreamland One. In Kirby Dreamland One, uh, the boss the the enemies are in boss strategies quite differently. Well, that and you get the uh, the enemy roll call if you beat it. Mm -hmm. After Meta Knight gave you the candy, he decided I'm gonna sick my goons on you now. Uh, Matt and I can never decide which, uh, who he's aligned with. I never understood that, why he throws you candy in his game, but... It doesn't really make sense. Uh, it just adds to the mystery of the character. <laughs> well, I don't know what... I don't think they actually knew completely what they were going to do with Meta Knight at this point. No, and, uh... Uh, they establish him as a as a um, as a hero, basically in uh, any game that's after Superstar. Well, actually, in Superstar is the only time that he's actually depicted as a full fledged villain. Yeah, basically. That is the only time that's ever happened with Matt Here, I. he doesn't know what the hell he is. Which is funny, because the only time King DDD was depicted as a full-fledged villain, which is not included... Well, it, it is, is shown as a full-fledged villain, is the first game, where... In this game, well, you'll find out later, but, uh... In this game, he's not actually the big bad, and he's not actually being evil. Yeah, but in two later games, uh, King DDD is actually depicted as an ally. Yeah. The thing with King DDD is he's more of an anti-hero. He's just... He's... He's, 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 uh, he's actually he'll, a nice guy. He's he'll actually he'll a nice guy. He's for just, the greater good he's a, he, if needed. He's a jerk with a heart of gold. He he kind of, he's a jerk with a heart of gold. He, he does good things, but he's an asshole. Basically, and then you've got yes. Mr. TikTok. You just completely owned him. Well, you got one of my favorite you got abilities. One of my favorite abilities ever, Mike. I like the sword better. It's more useful. Yeah, I like the mic because it can uh, in instantly remove your uh, the enemies on screen. Yeah, you'd only see that if you used light ability, which is like the most pointless Kirby ability to ever exist. <laughs> besides, besides sleep, anyway. Well, no, light, sleep even even sleep is not as useless as light because you, you use light once, it goes away, and. You don't even Yeah, but the benefit of the light ability it actually lights up the room. Uh unlike yeah, but uh, you don't really need it's light. Pointless for everyone to do that. Else, though. What I've always wondered is if is it possible to use light in other areas? Cuz you know what would be really funny if it'd be really funny if you could use light on um on uh what's his name? On a uh, Cracko and it'd be an instant kill. <laughs> well, I would have to say Probably would not work. It won't, because I've tried it. But uh, it's it's fun. You can't take light out of the level. It's like UFO. Further adding to how useless it is. Mm -hmm. It sucks, because UFO is the best ability in the game. Yeah, you can actually glitch the game, though, so you can keep it. As long as you don't die. But yeah, it's possible to glitch the game, so you can uh, have a permanent UFO. That sounds, that sounds fun. Um, you know where you can first find the UFO on the first level, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if I recall correctly, the glitch works like this. You need to um, hit the select button, but try to hit the start button at the exact same time and exit the level. The game will act like you discarded the ability, but you'll you actually still have it. 
And now, I should also sisters. point out, um, you could try to get to Krakow with some other ability, but you probably would get screwed over if you do. Uh, the best thing to do is just uh, use high jump, but you can just fly. You can literally just fly and you'll be fine. It's just, uh, Krakow will catch up to you eventually. So what you have to do is you have to land on a cloud and that'll destroy... And, and what Krakow tries to do is he'll try and destroy the cloud that you're on. And that'll let uh, you s fly guys, then. Guess, sorry to interrupt, but I gotta stop. That's it for this video. We'll catch you back next time. Later, folks. Alright.